this notion that that talentism is the new competitive advantage, I think, has really come forward as one of the big hypotheses in the fourth industrial revolution. And so the work that a number of the councils, including the council uh, I'm working with, uh, really focus on is what are the actual skills and capabilities um, that individual workers and individual people are going to need over the next five to 10 years to really take advantage of the great um, coming together of technology and human capital. Uh, what we're seeing in the work that we're doing is that organizations um, understand that they're going to have to be significantly more flexible in the way they think about managing work um, and managing people's work and life, um, that, that advancements in technology um, allow companies to think very differently about the definition of a job and the definition of work. So a couple of the big findings are that there's a very strong intersection between organizations that are passionate about taking advantage of every aspect of a worker throughout their life cycle uh, and really taking advantage of using that technology to empower employees, whether they're at entry level, whether they're getting reskilled through their career, or hopefully keeping more and more of those workers in the workforce as they age. So the fourth revolution actually has a very long life cycle. And we think about a very traditional definition of how people work. You know, they're born, they're educated, they work, and then they spend a part of their life retiring. You know, what we're really studying is how do you broaden that life cycle and how do all of the support systems, the education system, the health system, I mean, all the social security systems allow employees to move in and out of the workforce uh, as they need to and really take advantage of the growth in those industries.